Hello, hello. I have missed you guys and gals. Yes, I know. It's been a long time. <sighs> it's been hot and it's been busy. Um, but I am going to do a rabbit update. And we're going to start over here with what I call the brood barn. And no, it's not done. It's a work in progress. We're working on it board by board. We got a lot to do still yet, but hopefully we'll have it done before winter gets nasty. Eventually, over here, where we've already started, we're gonna have 10 doe cages, and that's gonna be set aside for my reds and broken reds. And then over here, we'll have another 10 uh, doe cages. That's gonna be for my blacks, my blues, and my whites and then in this back section that has no roof or anything done to it will be my grow out pins uh, I think I'm gonna end up with 12 grow out pins we'll check and see on that 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 changes from day to day with my whims uh, but I think I'm gonna have 12 grow out pins anyway you don't want to hear about all that you want to see the rabbits so let's get to the rabbits here it is paprika I believe you guys know that I repurchased paprika paprika is just a little thin right now she just weaned a litter and uh, I didn't take them off of her until they were nine weeks old so she's recuperating she had well we'll talk about her litter short, shortly but that's paprika And then here we have Mountain Top. Uh, she just weaned a litter, although she maintained condition pretty well. Uh, I'm quite proud of her. Uh, she was a good first time mom, and she threw some pretty decent rabbits. They're still young yet, but I think we'll have some keepers out of there, or at least some showers. Then here we have Morning Star. Um, she just reached breeding age, um, and I think she's up to weight. So she will probably be bred in six weeks, not this round. Next to Morning Star, we have She Devil. She Devil is my youngest doe here. Um, once again, she just now hit breeding age, but I'm gonna let her have another six weeks before I breed her. Um, she will be bred to Rogers eventually, I believe, unless I change my mind between now and then. Change my mind a lot in six weeks. Next to She-Devil, we have number nine. I plan to do some breeding this evening, probably as soon as I finish this video. Um, it's getting late though, I may have to wait till tomorrow morning. Uh, she will be bred to Bazooka Joe. And number nine, I just love that doe. I mean, that body on her is just fabulous. I just love her. Her and Bazooka, I think, is going to throw some beautiful rabbits. We've got had one litter from them already they've already been sold next to number nine we have cherry valley and cherry valley will also be getting bred um, hopefully tonight or in the morning and in case you didn't catch it in previous videos cherry valley is the sister to Mountaintop. And then this one here <clears throat> is Morning um, Evening Shade. She is the sister to Morning Star. She will be bred tonight or in the morning. I think I'm going to breed her to either Figure 5 or Bazooka Joe. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to look at their pedigrees and take a good look at them but I think probably figure five
And then next to figure five is J6. Um, I bred J6 same time that I did paprika and mountain top, but she skipped. Uh, she had just turned breeding age, and I kind of chanced it. She was pushing weight limits. Uh, she wasn't quite there yet, but she was close. So I'm not too terribly disappointed that she skipped. Now that is my brooding does right now. I've got six reds and two broken reds. And I'm sure you've noticed there's some people missing. Um, I've sold Marble and I've sold Eureka. Eureka's still here, but she'll be leaving um, next weekend. And we lost Lacey. Um, I don't know if she had a heat stroke. I'm not sure what happened to Lacey. I uh, came out and she was gone. So, I don't know. Anyway, we have some others here. And some of these are not pleasant, so bear with me. This guy here is out of paprika and... No, no I'm sorry. This guy here is out of number nine and Bazooka Joe. Unfortunately, he was the nicest buck in the litter, but he has a severe broken leg, so he will be called. And then up here we have Rodeo, my white, one of my white bucks. Next to him, we have a broken black buck. This guy is out of Bloomer and uh, Ink. Beautiful body on this guy. I took him to the county fair and uh, he was beat by my white buck, but he came in very close. He was a very good doe, uh, buck. Next, underneath him, we have his sister. Oh, and this guy here, we named him Bigelow. He will be staying. He will be a brood buck uh, when I'm done showing him. Then we have his sister, also a broken black doe, out of Bloomer and Ink. Uh, she did very well. She took uh, best opposite sex at the county fair. And uh, she will be staying. And her name is Biggers. So we have Bigelow and Biggers. Next to her, up here we have a decent buck. I'm going to wait and see how he develops. Uh, he's decent. There's some things I don't like about him. We'll wait and find out how he matures. But he is out of number nine and Bazooka Joe. Uh, he was my second choice as a keeper. But since my first choice broke his leg, then uh, we'll see how this guy turns out. I haven't named him yet because I don't know if I'm keeping him yet. And then below him is his sister, um, Broken Red Doe, out of number nine in Bazooka Joe. And uh, I'm waiting to see how she turns out. She was the only doe in the litter. <laughs> Can you believe that? The only doe in the litter. All right, so that is it for the brood barn. I'm going to take you out and throw, show you the three weaned litters. These are currently my grow out pens. So let's take a look here. Uh, these are two red bucks. One is out of um, Bazooka Joe and number nine, and the other one's out of Saw Guy and Mountain Top. Both of those bucks have been sold. And then here is a little girl. Um, a guy had wanted to breed to Bazooka Joe. I told him he could, but I get the pick of the broken red does. And believe it or not, <laughs> she was the only broken red doe. Now, I think he had another doe that was a heavy broken, uh, but since I didn't want a heavy broken, then I took this one. And right now, she's got a severe case of hot ears. And the hot ears, I mean, those ears lopping over. 
They used to be worse than they are now, so I think she's going to grow into them. I hope she does. She's still a young girl. I'm going to wait and see how she turns out. And this little guy is a steel. Um, he is actually a call. I won't be keeping this guy. He is out of Bloomer and my unpedigreed blue buck, um, St. Charles. But since he's a steel, he won't be staying. Uh, also, this little stinker, I don't know how he did it, but he got out of the cage. And he ran wild for two weeks. We just caught him a couple days ago. So we've got him on hay and trying to fatten him up. He'll be a call. This litter, we have this it turned out to be a beautiful litter um, every one of these men I'm gonna have a hard time choosing who stays and who goes uh, the blacks there's five blacks in here there's three does and two bucks just some nice kits man um, I will be keeping one of the black bucks I may even keep the second one just as a backup in case something happens to the one I decide to keep. And then you'll also see a broken black in here. Sad news is Hallie, my broken black doe, had a heat stroke when her litter was uh, just under two weeks old. And when she had a heat stroke, um, she killed six of her kits she had a litter of seven and she killed six this is the only one that survived and she is a doe thank you lord and she will be staying um, i don't know how she's going to turn out right now she looks super nice uh, she's only got half a butterfly which uh you know not my preference but it's not a dq it's not even a fault she does have a nose marking so she does qualify for show and so far uh, i don't know if you can see her very well or not but so far she just just an amazing little youngster uh, these guys here are only 10 weeks old all right let's move along i know i'm taking so long to do this um this is a litter there's five in here once again i don't know how i got lucky uh, but i had three does and two bucks and these guys are out of mountaintop and saw guy uh, they're also 10 weeks old uh, we'll look and see how they grow out i may keep some i may not we'll wait and see how they grow out and then over here we have uh, Bazooka Joe and Paprika's litter. She ended up with um, three broken does, one broken buck, which happens to be the one staring at us. I know him because he has that little white stripe right down the center of his nose. That one is the buck, and then her second buck is that little red guy back there. So out of the three litters, well, I suppose four litters, we ended up with three does and two bucks out of the three full litters, and then the broken doe um, out of Hallie. Um, so those are all looking, man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with these blacks. Uh, just phenomenal. And I think I have to look it up and see I believe the black ones are out of my blue buck and bloomer and I can't remember who I bred Hallie to um, she may be out of the blue buck as well anyway let's roll on so long so long so long um, let's go now to what I call the show barn um, right now it's my buck barn and i've got some stragglers over here that won't fit in the brood barn yet anyway let's take a look here's the blue buck st charles 
Um, he's getting ready to go to work for me. Uh, probably for the last time. Uh, I've got two of his sons over there that will carry the blue jean. Um, so I'm really not going to need him much longer. I will breed him one more time uh, just so I have a backup plan. And I will breed him to a doe that I haven't already got a litter from. Probably Helena. I don't know. I'm, I'm so undecided what to do with he Helena. But she's getting ready to be bred. Um, next to him we have another Bazooka Joe kid. Um, Paprika Bazooka Joe. He's also a call. Then next to him we have Ink. And guys, <laughs> these bucks... <clears throat> they are awful. They are plum pitiful. They are in full molt. I mean, they are blowing out. They're clumped up. They are just awful shape. Look how stained he is. And you can see all that fur. He's molting so bad. But that's ink. Um, he's still staying around for a while. Being a Charlie, I'll have a hard time turning him loose when the time comes. He's one of my favorite rabbits in this barn. Next to him is Bazooka Joe, and Bazooka Joe is in worse condition than anybody I've seen. Oh, he's in good health, but boy, look at his molts. He is just, I mean, you can just pull clumps of fur. You can just pull them out. He's awful. But that won't stop him from working, and he's getting ready to go to work big time for me. Excuse me. Next to Bazooka Joe, we have Rogers. He's super nice buck, other than the molting. I'm real pleased with this fella. Um, by the way, in case you haven't caught it in previous uh, videos, Bazooka Joe is registered, and he's also a grand champion. Rogers is... I will soon get him registered, and he has one one or two legs. I can't remember for sure. I think two, but I'm going to say one, just in case I'm wrong. All right, and that brings us to Saw Guy. Saw Guy has turned out to a super nice buck. Um, I was worried about his weight at first, because he was just barely over nine pounds, but he's matured now, and he's a good-sized buck. He'll be staying around for a while. He's registered, and he has two legs. And then over here, we have figure five. He just turned senior not long ago. He's turned out to be a decent buck. Um, I don't think he's as great as Saw Guy or Rogers and, uh, or Bazooka Joe. So, I think I'm going to let him go. Um, I've got a broken buck over there out of Bazooka Joe that I really like. So, I think I'm going to let figure five move on to someone else after I breed him. I'm going to breed him one more time. Uh, and then I'm going to let him go. Um, I just need a mainstream. i got to keep my best. And um, I just don't think he measures up to Rogers or Saw Guy. So I'm going to exchange him for one that's a little bit better. And I think Bazooka Joe's son will do it. Alright, and that's all for my bucks. Of course we have Creo over in um, Daddy Jay's pens. Uh, he'll be returning to my barn at some point. But right now, Daddy Jay has him. Daddy J also has my white doe Rosie and my white doe Osceola. He also has my white doe Sugar. Um, Sugar is no longer needed, so she's moving along. Uh, she leaves this weekend as well. And then here's Eureka. And like I said, she's been sold. Next to her is St. Francis. She's the non-pedigreed black doe that I bought. I bought her because she had been bred to a Charlie Blue Buck. Um, she did not give kits. 
it was pretty hot the day that he bred her so I don't know if the buck was heat sterile or if she just skipped either way that was her only purpose for my barn is for her kits and since I didn't get the broken blue kits then uh, she will be sold uh, her days here are done I keep pedigreed rabbits and she's not pedigreed so I no longer need her next to her we have bloomer and even though bloomer is not in the breeding pen um, I'm getting ready to breed her again she throws some dynamite babies man I just love them and then here's Helena um, I really need to get this doe bred she's already got two legs and I'm going to show her this weekend I'm taking her to Sedalia there's a uh, four shows going on this weekend and so I'm going to take her there I'm going to cross my fingers for a leg I just need one more to grand champion her um, but I got to get her bread so that's what we're going to do we're going to get her bread um, so her show days are her show days are done hopefully she'll grand this weekend but if she don't she just don't Next to her, we have an empty cage, and then next to that, we have my blue doe Paragold. And Paragold, um, she came from Kentucky. A very nice doe. Look at that doe. Yeah, she is fully pedigreed. So I will be breeding her to one of those black bucks that I keep because it has a blue daddy. Mm -hmm. And hopefully these guys will start up my herd of blues. Um, I'm also getting her sister. A friend of mine had bought her sister. Same time I bought this one. And he's decided not to do the blues. He needed uh, open cage space for other projects. Uh, so I am going to be getting her sister. Next to her, our last two rabbits. Here we have Mustang Sally. Uh, Mustang Sally has already gotten a leg. I showed her when she was a junior and uh, she took best in breed on one of the shows. So she has a leg. I'll be showing her this weekend and I think I'm going to show her and her sister next month and then after that here in about six weeks these two are going to be bred. Now I've said before I was getting out of the whites and Daddy J was going to do the whites. Daddy J's working six days a week and with us milking goats he can't go to the rabbit shows anymore because somebody's got to be home to milk the goats. So I'm taking my uh, New Zealand whites back and I believe he's going to sell out of his Californians. Sad. Uh, he's not happy about it but he just doesn't have the time to do it. Um, so, I will be taking my whites back, however, I am getting out of the whites. Um, these four whites that I've decided to keep, Osceola, Rosie, uh, Mustang Sally, and then of course her sister next to her, White Thing, she also has a leg. Um, she took best of variety. So she has a leg. That was the opposing show to Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally won best of breed in one show. And this girl took best of variety in the next show. Same, same day. <coughs> anyway, these four does that I've decided to keep has got fabulous body types. And so I'm going to breed these girls to my blacks and my reds to try to improve body types on those. Anyway, there you go. You've had a rabbit update. I'm sorry it took so long, but you got it now. That's what's going on. And until we speak again, God bless. Thank you very much for your time of watching.